Happy holidays, everyone. I am Tommy Collins, 29 years old and a proud native of Chicago's South Side. And I'm also a proud member of New Life Covenant Church Southeast. Our amazing pastors, senior pastor John F. Hanna and executive pastor Dr. Jamon Glenn gave this amazing prophetic word New Year's Eve last year on 2020 being the year of perfect vision. And we had no idea that when God laid this word upon their hearts and upon their mouths to share to their flock, that we would be entering months later a global pandemic, that we would be in a year of isolation, being separated from our families, figuring out new ways to work, new ways to learn, new ways to just navigate our everyday lives, like our normal was disrupted. And little do, do we know and did we know that this would still nonetheless be a year of perfect vision. God was revealing to us that the systems we exist in, the way that we navigate our family structures, the way that we navigate work, the way we navigate school, the way we navigate romantic and platonic relationships, that we had to do things a different way. That the way we're doing things does not work, that it is not healthy, that it does not benefit the community, but only the individual. And so I am truly grateful for this season of being hidden. When I tell you, God has given me perfect vision of who I am. I know now who I am, what my gifts are, what my talents are, how I'm supposed to show up in the world. Because if I'm not taking care of me first, I can't be my best self when I'm out at work or at school or when I'm out doing outreach. I can't be everything that God has called me to be if I'm not taking care of me first. So this quarantine has really taught me the difference between self-care and self-comfort. There's been a lot of self-comfort and not enough self-care. Um, and overall, this really has just been a year of also tapping into dreams and aspirations that I have put on the back burner. So things that I have forgotten about, things that I said, they haven't happened. They're probably not going to happen anymore. God was like, no, delayed does not mean denied. And so God is really setting me up for those things to come into fruition now. So I'm truly grateful for what 2020 brought. I am now a semester away from graduating with dual masters from Illinois Institute of Technology in design and an MBA. I have already secured full-time employment after I graduate and I turn 30 um, 29 days from now, which is amazing. So I'm really looking forward to um, this new decade, my 30s. Um, and just living in what God has promised me. So I encourage all of you to not look at the glass half empty, which means like 2020 was tumultuous. It was a lot. It was overwhelming. It was all of these things that made us uncomfortable and unsettled. But that was for a reason. But if we look at the glass half full, we realize that God was simply preparing us for what he has prepared for us and reassuring us that yes things are a little rough that we have kind of put ourselves in these difficult situations but there's still time to make things right so I hope and pray that in this new year for the rest of this decade that we do the work to make things right not for this moment but for generations to come so God bless you all happy holidays Merry Christmas Happy New Year and see you all in 2021. God bless.